A band wants to distribute its music on compact discs, CDs. The equipment to produce the CDs costs $250, and blank CDs cost $590 for a package of 10. Which of the following represents the total cost in dollars to produce N CDs, where N is a multiple of 10? We have to be very careful here uh, with what we actually are, are multiplying, right? You can see we're either going to be multiplying 5.90 times N or 0.59 times N. So we have to be careful with how these multiples of 10 and packages of 10 are working out. So I actually suggest plugging in a number. So let's plug in an N. How many CDs do we want to make here? Well, we know N's got to be a multiple of 10. So let's say 30. Let's go ahead and figure out how much would it cost to make 30 CDs and then look in the choices to see which one matches. First, regardless of how many CDs we make, we're always going to have $250 for the equipment costs. So we know we're going to get $250 plus. Now we're making 30 CDs. Each CD, uh, each pack of 10 CDs is going to cost us $590. So we've got 30 CDs total. So this should be $590 times 3. So let's see what we get as our final cost here. 250 plus 590 times 3. So we get $267.7 or $267.70. So let's go to the choices and see which one uh, is going to work. So we can actually right away get rid of A, C, and E because notice in A, C, and E we're multiplying our 250 by N and that doesn't make any sense because this is a fixed cost. The only thing we're multiplying by N in some sense is the cost per CD. So let's check this choice B. So this is 250 plus 0.59 N. Remember N is 30. Don't plug in 3 here. So we have to go ahead and do 0.59 times 30. Add this to 250. And we get indeed uh, 267.7. So that's going to be your answer. If you check D, you're going to see we're going to get something that's way too big. Because you have to do 250 plus 590 times 30. Because N is 30. So we get 427, which is way too big. The key to see here is that since this is multiples of 10, and since N represents the number of CDs, you can't do $5.90 times N, because then you're doing $5.90 per CD. Whereas it should be really, if you think about it, 59 cents per CD. And if it's doing N CDs, it's just N times 0.59, which is where B comes from. You can get confusing. I think plugging in numbers here really helps avoid this issue because you just come up with what the answer should be based on the information, find the answer in the choices, and you're done.